The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, 4 channel relay, connecting cable, connecting wires and 4 bulbs. Now log into the Arduino IoT Cloud website. Here enter the username and password and click on the sign in button. Now go to Things menu and click this thing. Here rename this thing. We can give the name as Home Automation with ESP32. Then click on the rename button. Then we need to add four variables. Click this add button and add the variable name. We can add the variable name as light 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here select the variable type as boolean. Here we need to select the rate right and here on change. Now click on the add variable button. So likewise we need to add the remaining three variables. The second one is light 2. Variable type is boolean and click add variable button. And the third one is light 3. And here also variable type is boolean and click add variable. And the final one is light 4. And here also the type is boolean and click click add variable. Now we need to select the device. Click this select device button. And here we need to select setup new device. Here select third party device. Here we are using ESP32 board. So select this board. And the model name is ESP32 DAW module. And then click on the continue button. Here we can give any device name. Now click the next button. Here we need to copy this secret key. Now select this checkbox and click on the continue button. Here click done.
now we need to configure the network click on this configure button and here enter the wi-fi username and wi-fi password here paste the secret key which we copied and click on the save button now the network key is also configured now click this main menu and go to dashboards here click this dashboard button and we need to create a new dashboard first we can rename the dashboard name here also we can give the name as home automation with ESP32 and click rename button and here we need to add four switch widgets we can give the name as switch one for the first one we need to link the variable link the light one variable and then click on the link variable button and click done now add the second one here we can give the name as switch two and link with the variable light to click this link variable button and click done now add the third switch here we can give the name as switch 3 and link the variable with the light 3 variable click link variable button and click on the done button now the final switch here we can give the name as switch 4 and link with the variable name light 4 click link variable button and click done now again go back to the main menu click on things our thing name is home automation with esp32 click on that here click sketch and open full editor Here the basic template is created and now we can add the logic. So first we need to declare the variables, pin numbers. Then enter this pin mode for the switches. I will paste this source code in the video description. And then the logic to turn on and turn off the light. So this is for the first uh, switch. So if the variable is light one, then the first switch will on so that the first bulb will be on. So if not, the first will first bulb will be off. So same like second one, light two. So here just change the variable name as light two. And this is switch two. And the third one the variable name is light 3 and the button is switch 3 now the final one here the variable name is light 4 and the button is switch 4 now we can compile the program so click on this button now the program is compiled successfully now we need to upload the program so for that go to the select device option here the port is selected automatically so click on this and we need to select the board the board name is ESP32 DAO module. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the mobile dashboard. For that download the IoT remote application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, you can see the dashboards which we created from the Arduino IoT cloud website. Now click on the dashboard and you can see the buttons which we added from the website. Now we can check the output. 